As we talk about the systemic circulation in the extremities, we're going to start with the arm, and it's actually fairly simple. If you could remember that arteries essentially get their names when they go into a region or when they branch. And so what we're going to take a look at here, let's get oriented first. This is the clavicle of the uh, upper extremity. And so uh, as we're talking about arteries, we can imagine that this one below directly underneath the clavicle is called the subclavian. Subclavian go here, uh, and then once it moves into the axial region we call it the axillary artery as it moves into the arm we call it the brachial artery and then once it splits right here in the cubital fossa we can then be able to describe then the two radial and ulnar arteries you can see this here uh, this is the radial and this is the ulnar you always want to check the thumb because the thumb side is radial so this is radial and this is ulnar radius thumb side radius thumb side and then from there it goes into the deep and superficial palmar branch arch I'm sorry deep and superficial superficial palmar arch, but we only see the superficial because the model doesn't allow us to kind of dig up underneath here to see this. After that, it's the common digital, and then it splits into the proper digital ending in the fingers. And so that's the upper extremity. Let's go quick and review again. This is the subclavian, to the axillary, to the brachial, to the radial and ulnar, to the superficial and deep palmar arches, to the common, and then to the proper digital. That's the upper extremity. Let's take a look at the lower extremity. And when we take a look at the lower extremity, we start all the way here by the lumbar vertebrae. So we know that this is then the common iliac artery. So as we take a look at the common iliac, we can imagine that it splits into the internal, and external iliac, so internal and external. The internal will have multiple branches, one of which um, we'll just kind of take a look at the posterior side. We can actually see here, this would be considered the gluteal or specifically the superior gluteal artery. We don't see the inferior, inferior would come below piriformis here. So this is superior gluteal artery. Uh, once we go into the external, the external once across the inguinal ligament becomes the femoral. And the femoral gives it one big branch called the deep femoral, and you can see some of the branches off there. We're not going to cover too many of that, just kind of a brief overview here. So femoral gives the deep femoral, but continues down the thigh, so this is still the femoral, pierces the adductor hiatus, turns round on the posterior side and becomes the popliteal artery. Popliteal, because it's in the popliteal, you get some genicular branches, and then the popliteal enters into the lower leg, becoming and splitting into what we call the posterior, which is this entire length of the artery, and the anterior tibia, which we can actually see on the anterior side if we were to take a look at it from here. There is the anterior tibial artery. So that's the anterior tibial artery. This is the posterior. Posterior, we give one last branch called the fibular, fibular branch or peroneal, until it goes into the foot, branching off into the medial and lateral plantar, giving the plantar arch, and again, the proper common and then the proper digital, while the anterior tibial continues and crosses the ankle and then goes on to, to the top of the foot, and we call that then the dorsalis pedis or the uh, dorsal pedal artery. So dorsalis pedis, we get it right there. So quick review, we get the common iliac, we get the common iliac branching into the common iliac branching into the external and internal iliac. Internal iliac gives many branches. The one that we want to take a look at is the gluteal artery, superior. External comes down, goes over the inguinal ligament, becomes the femoral. Femoral branches, gives one branch called the deep femoral. Femoral continues through the adductor hiatus to become the popliteal. Popliteal gives off some genicular branches, but then splits into the anterior, which is also on this side, and posterior tibial which give off the fibular artery, and then posterior tibial goes onto the foot, giving off the medial and lateral plantar, uh, and the plantar arches, and then common and proper digital, while the anterior tibial come up and then give off the dorsalis pedis artery right here along the foot.